everyone! So today I'm going to be doing a review on some of the YouTubers new beauty stuff. So I'm going to start with Zoe and this is Zoe Sug and she has some new beauty stuff. This is a Scrubbing Me Softly Smoothing Body Cream. Now I've seen a lot of bad reviews about this. People didn't like the beads and they thought it was really cheap for what you were getting. But I personally love this. And I think it smells like... We all know I can't describe smells. I think it smells like... Strawberries? Or raspberry? I can't even tell the difference. But yeah, this is amazing. Basically you just apply this to damp skin when you're in the bath. And it's absolutely amazing. It leaves my skin so soft. I don't know what people are complaining about. I would be completely honest and tell you the truth if I didn't like this. But I do. I honestly love this so much. And it was out of Superdrug. And you can also get it on Feel Unique. But I just like to go into Superdrug and see it all. And yeah, I love this. And the packaging's great. It's like, it's not glass, which worries me with things because I'm very clumsy. So it's not glass, so if you drop it, it won't smash. And I love the yellow top because I love yellow. So yeah. Next thing is the fizz bar. This is from the Tutti Frutti range. And I had the previous fizz bar and it was great as well. Now this is nice, but it does have a fruity scent, which is nice. It's a nice enough scent. I'm not the biggest lover of fruit smells. I just got this because I thought, well, it's a bath bomb, I like it. It's Zoella, she's a great YouTuber. And it's nice, it does, it does smell gorgeous, don't get me wrong. But I do prefer the original one because it has less of a scent. And that's just a personal preference to me. I absolutely still love this, but I do prefer the original range. Some of you might prefer this one because it does have a stronger smell. And the last Zoella product that I'm going to do is this one and it's the Creamy Madly Dreamy Body Lotion. This is from the first line and this just makes my skin incredibly soft. I put this on like once I'm out of the bath and it's just amazing. I think this smells like, again, either sh like strawberries and cream. Yeah, like strawberries and cream. And I absolutely love this so much. Again, this is all from Superdrug and Feel Unique, but I got mine from Superdrug. And I would highly recommend all three products. If you're less of a fruity smelling person, definitely go for the ish, the issue, the bath bomb from the first. It's not serious, it's not a TV programme, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm so awkward. And now I'm going to throw in a wee cheeky bath bomb from Lush because it's still within the bath area. So this is Bright Side Bubble Bar and I've used half of it already but they said to use it half at a time because it's huge and this is the other half here. It just looks like sunset and it smells like orange. But it's amazing, I absolutely recommend this so much. It turns your bath orange, what else could you want in life? Yeah. So now I'm going to move on to Tanya Burr products. And I'm going to start off with the eyelashes. And these are the Bambi Eyes eyelashes. And I absolutely love these. These are my first ever ones, like eyelashes. Not from Tanya Burr, but from like ever. Like this is my first set of eyelashes, false eyelashes. And they were so easy to apply and they come with their own little glue and you can use tweezers if you want but I can just use my fingers to do it. I find that I can control my fingers more and for someone who's beginning you might want to use tweezers but I thought that the tweezers were too flimsy to work with. So you just basically put the glue along the vein of the lash and you like let it air dry for a bit and then you place it into the middle it in at the corners and boom you're ready to go. Let it go tacky first before you put it on though otherwise it'll just slide around that's what I always thought. But yeah they're absolutely amazing and they come like with the right and the left guidelines of where to put them so basically you can't really put them on the wrong eyes either. This is great for me because I'm always one of these people that are like left, left, what one is it? This one because it creates the L shape. 
Yes, I always have to do that. I'm such an idiot. But yeah, now I'm going to go into our lip glosses. So I have three of my lip glosses. This is from the first line. Line, that's what I was looking for, not series line. So, or range. This is the Vampire Kiss shade from our first range. And it's absolutely amazing. The only one thing I would say about it is it's more of a light red than a dark red. No, it doesn't look like it, but it is. It's more of a light red. And I wanted it to be like kind of berry red because it was vampire. I assumed that it would be. Which again was my fault because I assumed it. But this is a great lipstick and it's a lovely, lovely colour. I just thought it was going to be darker. But if you like a kind of light red colour, definitely go for this. I think this would be nice for a Christmas look because by Christmas you want reds and stuff. Whereas autumn you want more darker berry reds. But I think for Christmas this would be perfect. I love this. And now this is two from a new range. They look very similar. But this one's I found Nemo and this one's just peachy. I found Nemo is more of a coral colour and it is absolutely gorgeous. But I've got to say, Just Peach is my favourite. It's more of a pinky, like it's a kind of milky pink shade. But I absolutely love it. Like it's not, it doesn't go on horrible and babyish. It is lovely. And I absolutely adore the new packaging. It's even got a little heart on the top. It's so gorgeous and it's mirrored. Obviously not mirrored as in you can see yourself. But we well, you can see yourself on the top. Hi! I'm so weird. But yeah, I would highly recommend these. And these were all from Superdrug as well. And the last Tanya Bar item that I'm going to review is the eyeshadow palette. This is the Galaxy one and I've used this four times now and I absolutely love it. It comes with this mirror. Let's try and find my dog in the mirror again like I did last week. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's his ears poking up behind the blanket. See this blanket? It's the coziest thing ever. But yeah, this is the eyeshadows. So it's upside down just now so I can hold the mirror. But this is Starry Night. This is Stormy Sky. This is Moonlight and this is Snowflake and basically Tanish does a tutorial on how to use this for an autumn look and it's absolutely gorgeous and that's how I've been wearing this as well. So basically you apply the Moonlight all over your eyes and it's this gorgeous iridescent silver colour and then you put Stormy Sky through your crease and then you pack Snowflake into your inner corners. And you can also use it for your brow bone if you want, but I find it's too sparkly for my brow bone. I personally don't like it for my brow bone. But in the inner corners, yes. And Starry Night, you apply it to the outer edges and smoke it out and just get a really gorgeous smoky look. And you can like put a dark berry lip on and it's absolutely gorgeous. So I highly recommend this. I can't remember the prices, but if you go on Superdrug website and Feel Unique website, you'll find them out. But basically I absolutely love Zoella's range, both her first and her second and I love Tanya's new range and her old range as well. So I recommend everything from here and I'm not just saying that, I absolutely do recommend that I love them. So yeah, I'm just going to say goodbye now. Please give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye! Hi everyone, so I'm having a chill day because I don't start working till 8 o'clock tonight. But basically I'm going to upload a vlog from last weekend when I went to like a Halloween walk and I was one of the actors along with my friend and it's not a long vlog at all, like it's only like a minute long so I've just added it on to the end of this video. Enjoy! vlogging right now because we are in a part of a ghost walk and we are actually like clapping our pants. Look right, because try and point it round and because, look, see right, I, don't, I don't know if you can see this but it's like a kind of hanging ghost decoration and um, basically we thought it was real. I can actually smell that. Oh it's on there, look um, that's what it is. Oh, and there's dog poo on the yoga mat which I am lying on as my um, bed where I'm getting cut I can actually smell it, it's disgusting. I'm actually terrified. Oh, this layer is wet. Oh, this 